Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me back at the coast and I'm down at Rocky Bay and I'm here, as you can see, for sunrise. I have my wellies on because the water is going to be coming around me this morning. And what I'm here to do is just purely get out and try and capture some of the motion that I'm seeing here this morning. There's some nice big waves that are coming in here as well. And, you know, coming into high tide, so it is actually going to get even more so. But what I wanted to do is see what I can get as the water is going to be coming in and out of the frame here before me. I'm now looking at a couple of rocks that were below me, but now they're covered by water. But I'm sure once these big waves that have come in here will go back out again, I'll be able to see them again. But the whole idea that I want to try and do today is take some motion in the waves against the rocks and really find and show the love that I have for seascape photography. So the idea behind today is two things. Number one, wait for the water to come in and then wait also for the water to go out. You'll get two different types of photographs then from the same scene. I'm composing the shot here at the moment with a sequence of rocks that are leading directly out towards the headland. but. Right behind the headland is where the sun is going to rise. And we're starting to see a small bit now of pre-dawn light, which is quite nice. So I'm going to crack on here, find a composition, and I'll check back in again in a moment once I get a composition nailed down, and I'll tell you what I'm doing and my thought process from there. I've got the camera set up and decided to go for a portrait orientation because I don't want to have the darkness over here. I want to kind of concentrate on the rocks that are here before me. Now, I would ordinarily be down quite low from a CCA point of view because it really does give you more of an in-depth or in the actual scene type of image. But I'm actually going up high at the moment because you might have seen here a couple of waves coming in and breaking up over my knees. And I don't want to have a risk of the gear getting soaked there are a couple of large waves that are coming in and I can see some big waves as well breaking on the headland over. So I'm deciding to go for a relatively normal, traditional height uh, here. And I'm also going for a mixture of different exposure times. I'm going for my preferred, which is a half a second. And I'm also now as well going for a two second exposure. The reason for the two second exposure is I want to catch that water as it sweeps back out again after the wave comes in. There's a nice cloud here now, and I've just got to be careful with this wave. So, actually, while this is here now, and I'll show you this, I'll wait now for this water to recede away from me, and as it's receding, it's dragging itself back out. I now start the shutter, and that's capturing all the information here as the water is going back out towards the sea. But, like I was saying, there's a nice cloud there now that's in the sky, and it does seem to be catching some of the pre-dawn light. Now, it probably around 20 minutes away now from sunrise. So I'm going to have an opportunity to get a couple of longer exposure shots anyway before the sun will come up. And also what I'm going to do is after I've exhausted these set of rocks here, I'm going to go over here to the left hand side of the frame because there's a lot more rocks that are there. And I think I'll actually get some nice bit of movement as well around those rocks. Again, I have to be careful because the tide is coming in. And as you can see, there's some large waves that are coming in there. And the last thing I want to have happen is to get swept off when I'm on these rocks that are over here. They're small, nothing major, but still got to be conscious of safety from my gear. Um, from a settings point of view, I'm at F11. I'm at two seconds now for the outward motion, and my ISO is at 100. And this is one of these big waves, as you can see here, and it's now come in. It's gone up over my knees, so if I was actually lower that's there, I would be absolutely soaked. Now, um, this, I think, is a good one, as the water now goes into my wellies. Um, but that's okay, you're a seascape photographer, you're going to get wet. So yeah, this one anyway, I think I'm done from here. I'm going to go over to these rocks anyway there now, and see what else I can get at that point.
Right, so what am I doing now? Well, what I'm doing is I've come over here and I've got the image composed with a sequence of rocks that are here and a nice bit of a gully that's running and I'm waiting for a wave, a couple like these actually now, just to come in and to fill this area with water. The idea that I'm trying to do here is to go for a half a second exposure and with that half a second exposure I should be able to keep some of the kind of detail that's within the water but also get a bit of a movement in it. Now this wave that's coming in, not the first one but the second one does look like it'll be a big wave here that'll come in over this and I do think there we go this is the first one and this is the second one is actually even bigger so I think I might actually get that shot now I'm going to keep actually you now just taking some shots here I'm at half a second I've got it at high speed continuous and the idea that I want to try and do is capture some of that motion and go through the images then thereafter that second wave actually got drowned out by the first on the way that it was going back out again but there's a nice bit of a flow and a curve that's coming down through these here and I do think actually it'll complement what I see within the sky. The sky is just starting to kick off now as well actually here, it's proving to be quite a nice morning I think in regards to colour. But again, with this here now, wait for the water, like a wave right now, comes in here and capture that movement of the water as it comes in around me. Both coming in and also going back out. Now I'm going to adjust my composition as well because I want to be able to get some of that beautiful sky that I see here now in front of me. So I might actually just do that right now. So I'm going to go to my widest. I'm going to try and get as much of that sky in as I possibly can as another big wave actually comes in here. Bring this down here to be able to give me as much opportunity to be able to keep the detail in that beautiful uh, sky. And now once I compose my image here and just recompose I'll wait now for a wave to come in to give me a bit of motion and contrast in that water uh, below me. Settings at the moment ISO 100, I'm at half a second now because I want to capture that movement and I'm also at F8. And I think now this possibly could be one that will reach what I want to reach here is effectively to fill this area below me with water. The sky is absolutely beautiful actually right now. What a morning. I wasn't even going to come out, but I'm happy that I did. That wave hasn't now yet, so yeah. I'll wait here, and I'll capture this shot, and I'll check back in again once I move around to a different location. I think once the sun comes up and I get some light, I'm going to move over to the sand area and try and get some reflections in the sand as well. But yeah, for now anyway, I'll wait for a wave to fill this, and we'll catch that shot then. you can see now the water is really after filling this area here and it's only probably been around about maybe two minutes since I last checked in so what that's now giving me is a completely different foreground to be able to photograph I should also be able to hopefully get a bit of the uh, reflected light as well off the water as it's in the pools below me but it also takes away then as well just the darkness that would have been in that rocks the Sun now I think has come up yeah so the glow that I would have gotten there in those beautiful clouds earlier on is actually now starting to fade. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move over onto the sandy area of the beach and yeah, I'll see what type of photograph I can get anyway there. I don't know if I'm actually going to get any uh, reflected light because of the uh, clouds now that are there, but there's one more big wave now that's just after coming in here. It looks like a monster wave. It may be able to reach me. It depends here really on if the outflow of the wave previous to it is actually going to stop it or slow it down. But I'll wait now and see if this wave will reach me and I'll try and grab that shot as well then from here. And then I think that'll be the end of me on this side anyway. And I'll move over, as I say, to the uh, sand. So this is the one kind of reaches me. Maybe it'll flow in on the left-hand side. It's coming in on the right-hand side. Yeah, grab that there now. And that just gives a nice bit of a break in a contrast into the dark scene with the white of the water.
so I'm still here in the same spot actually I didn't go over to the sand yet and what I decided to do was just change my exposure time because when I was reviewing a couple of the images the half a second actually wasn't doing it as much as I think could have so I changed that now to a two second exposure and I had to bring up to f14 to enable me to do that but what it does now is as the movement of the water is actually more extenuated accentuated as it comes across here on the rocks below me so I'm waiting for waves just like this to come in taking the shot and that's given me a nice and actually a better bit of movement in the water as it lays over the rocks here before me so yeah I definitely know I'm going to move over here I'll go over to the sand area and I'll take some shots there now next Join me next week as I continue this fantastic morning with some golden, gorgeous light on the sandy peaches in Rocky Bay. If it's your first time on this channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, schlange folen.